Hey guys, it's Matt here. On today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at Kittle. We have been messing around with this platform for a minute, so if you guys haven't seen Phil's video, we have tested some prints out. Make sure you guys check out that video. We'll leave a link down in the description below. <laughs> Let's dive right into Kittle. I wanted to show you guys something that we stumbled upon that was actually pretty cool, and it may or may not work for what you guys are trying to do. See, we actually didn't print these designs already, but we are going to give it a shot so you guys could know the results coming from this platform for DTF. The way we started searching this, we went to t-shirt uh, templates. This will give you a variety of popular templates and designs to choose from. What we are going to do is click on this sorting tab and then click on name. And then what we noticed here was there was like a combination of different images on one template. And usually when a brand is trying to come up with the design, it's hard to come up with something that's really like, that stands out or even comes with the same genre or color tones and really complements the brand. So this is nice to see because you don't get the same image, but you do get a set genre as well as also the set color tone that comes with it. So what real we are really gonna do is just really look at what's most popular to us. Let's do the six vintage graphic tee. Like the way that looks. So we're gonna use this template and everything we're able to use and edit. Now keep in mind when we're doing these Canva and Kittle tutorials, we are trying to show you guys the quality of these images. We want to test these out for you guys so you could see whether you guys could use this or not for your brand. So we haven't really tested these out yet and there are certain things that we have been concerned about and we are not absolutely sure if we're going to, if it's going to look good. <laughs> One thing we do know that DTF is not really good with gradients and I could already see some gradients effect going on with some of the images. I don't know if they made these images transparent or if it's a solid image, but from top to bottom, it all looks printable. And even if you zoom in, It even looks like he did some gradient effect, some half toning that's actually being done here. Okay. All right. Well, so the nice thing about Kittle, like Canva, you can edit these templates. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to change up these images just a little bit, just to give it our own personal flavor. Okay. So the first one we are going to do venomous poisonous <laughs> and then poisonous perils okay Instead of defiance, let's do fortitude. Then for this, we are just going to put our phone number. Danger, we are going to put warning. Okay, and then this one we're going to do enter. Ammo. 
This one will be Republic. We'll do Celestial. robot this is not giving me a remains type of look it's giving me like a wanted poster so still wanted. okay all right everything looks good all right now we're just gonna hit download and the first thing we are going to do is actually change the DPI and it's gonna go to 300 after you do that, you want to set the pixels to inches and the highest the width can go is actually 18.95, leaving the height at 36. Then we're going to remove the background and optimize the quality. After that, we're going to print it. All right, guys, we got the artwork printed on a 22 by 36 gang sheet. But before we take a look at these prints, if you guys are looking for a backup DTF supplier or are unhappy about your current supplier, come check us out. Our link is in the description. We print custom DTF transfers for clothing as well as UV stickers for hard surfaces. We offer reliable services and quality with quick delivery and more vibrant colors. Well, let's check out these prints. Again, we changed all the text to make it customized so you could see how it turned out. The whole layout is actually pretty nice. First thing we are going to talk about is this Poisonous Perils graphic. From the naked eye, we didn't see any gradients to it upon printing it, but you actually do see some gradient shadow effect from the snake going on here, which is not ideal, but not a deal breaker. We can print it, but it's not going to look exactly what it looks on the computer. So this is why we are going to do these prints so we can check these out together. Now the next one we're going to do is the heart graphic. We changed the text too, and from the look of it, everything came out great. There's no fuzz or gradients to this print. It's pretty sharp. So for this next one, uh, what really caught my attention was actually this is shadow effect and also the text being pretty small. But everything else looks really good. I definitely love how it has the bullets all around representing a skull. And it's actually pretty cool for any type of streetwear. This next image actually looked pretty good online, uh, but it really didn't show the smoke effect as it shows in the print. Um, it looked a lot better online, but as you can see, this smoke gradient didn't really come out really well on the print. But everything else looks pretty good. So this one came out really good. I love the way this one came out. Uh, but what we thought was some halftone effects, it actually did end up going through. So it's actually one whole image. Uh, but we do see some uh, transparency in the wanted. That's what we changed up to as well. But yeah, no, this one came out really good. So for this last one, everything looks good. No like gradient effects or any hiccups there. But I do got to say with the wording at the bottom, it makes it a little bit hard to really see and read everything. But... You know, that, that's like the only thing I see is a problem. Uh, everything else came out great and everything looks fine. 
So for this demonstration, we're gonna be using a Next Level 3600. This is 100% cotton. It's more of a fitted tee that we use a lot. I'm actually gonna be using only three because we aren't gonna be using these shirts. So we're gonna be pressing the front and the back. We chose black to showcase the designs with the gradients and we could also showcase it on a shirt. So let's go get pressing. First design we're gonna take a look at is Poisonous Perils, Potent Death. Uh, so the first thing that we did notice prior was the, the little ring. And we didn't think it was gonna be really like crazy, but um, it doesn't really look good. It doesn't really look that good. I, I understand the, the point on the graphic, but it just doesn't look good on a shirt. Again, this is stuff that you could definitely tinker with and take off on your own and add your own gradients to kind of make it a better, but this is just, you know, exactly what you would get straight from the, the website itself. So it, looking at everything, everything came out good though. Everything got embedded. And it looks good. Like, Everything looks good. The DPI, you can see all the scales onto it. it looks good. So this one, it, again, the knockout came out really well. And even though this is like the thicker part of it, you can see some half toning effects right here. Like this is, this is really nice. This came out not that bad. A little grainy in this. The words too, I don't see any edges, aren't all good. Yep, this right here did not come out as great as expected. But I mean, we did take note of this too as well. I get it, they were trying to put out a more of a, a cloud effect, like a smoke effect that was going towards the lighter but it did not come out as good. But if they did take it out, I, I, I would think that this would look just as great regardless. Still looks pretty good. I, li I like it. Humanoid. Everything got embedded. I was thinking this was gonna be like a little more half tones, but that's solid. Still good though. I, I like it. It's a lot. The words are small, but they're not that bad. I could read them. You definitely have to get closer to the shirt to read them. But everything came out good. This one actually probably came out the best of all of them. All <laughs> right, here. Out of the three right now. Next one we're going to take a look at is the Fortitude Heart one. The ones that have our numbers on it. And this one actually was my favorite. I, I do like it a lot still. It, it just is very, very solid. I think that it could have been a lot of stuff that we could have knocked out out of it. Um, this was a knockout, so I like that. But no, this was, everything here was completely solid. Everything was embedded. Looks like a really good graphic. There was nothing that was done wrong on this one. So let's see this one. I do like the whole bullet effects. It's giving a little bit of a messier look when you look more into it. I think the gray didn't completely get out of that. 
That Republic's not that bad. I mean, farther away, it's harder to see. I do see those half tones right here, but it's not looking so crazy noticeable. Although the graphic looks just kind of more grainy than anything. So it's not, it's not, I would say it's more in the terms of mid. <laughs> this one looks good. Again, it's a very solid image. I, I wish it was a lot of halftone effects that we could um, add or towards them. But again, we just wanted to see regular raw image just coming straight from the website itself. And it looks good. I like it. It looks really good. Just very solid. There's um, definitely ways to make this uh, s like a lot less solid and more in a case of half tones and taking out the the black and in this image. But no, everything else, yeah, everything came out good. It looks nice. Let's get a little closer look real quick just to see everything. Looks good. There you guys have it. Let us know what you guys think of Kittle. Personally, I thought it was easy to use and the templates actually look great. Again, some cleanup on some of these graphics and 06 would have been a great gang sheet. Hopefully this video gave you guys more tools to help create your brand, as well as also know that you guys could definitely utilize us as a DTF supplier. There'll be a link down below to come check us out. Please like and subscribe to make more videos like this and I'll catch you guys up on the next one.